Commentary done by Diggity Upper right in corner. We have Attentat starting as the Red Zerg. Bottom right in corner, we have Fish Eye starting as the Blue Protoss. Opted for those colors instead of those colors because I just think they're more appealing. This is going to be on Butter. BSL Season 16, Round of 8. Game 3 between Fish Eye and Attentat. Fish Eye currently up 2 0. So, Attentat's tournament life is on the line. This is a two player map. I do feel like this is a very. Actually, if I recall, I think Machine had mentioned that you can sometimes sneak against a nine pool. You can sometimes still pull off a Nexus first build on Butter because of the distances between spawns. As such, I'm going to say that this is potentially a more challenging map for Zerg. We'll see if Adentech goes for a 12 hatchery, if Fisheye goes for that Nexus first. Going for that, you do need to go Nexus Forge, but yeah, 11... Getting comments in chat. 11 Nexus, 11 Forge, you can pull that off. Which is an economically advantageous build. It looks like we are going to see a 9 pool attempt. So we'll see if we see the 11 Nexus or if we're just going to see a rote Forge first build from Fisheye. He is maneuvering out to put that Forge down. So Forge is down. Another gas cancellation from Attentat wants to get a lot of initial Zerglings out and Interesting movement from Fisheye. It looks like he's moving that probe out to avoid the Overlord scouting pattern for unknown reasons. Instead of going for the shorter right-hand path, maybe because he wants to... Not sure what the logic is behind that. Finding that initial drone scout as it's making its way across is going to be able to make its way in to see that Overlord spawning, see the spawning pool finish, and know that it needs to plant the double cannons. So initial Zerglings being built, the resources there for Fisheye. There's something about this build order I like, just because it feels like the minerals are right there in time. Just feels sleek somehow to me. I don't know why that is for Protoss, even though it's like the very stereotypical standard thing. But it just, I don't know, I like it. Feels efficient somehow in a satisfying way. Ooh, Drone took heavy damage from that probe initially to be pushed off that natural expansion. The Zergling's actually stopping rather than engaging, maybe because that initial drone saw the two cannons being constructed. Natural expansion now being built, but that was a significant delay. The Zergling's stunned. They're just going to wait. The probe has exited out. No third hatchery this time. It looks like it is going to be at least an initial two hatch gas grab. I'm wondering if it's going to be two hatch Mutalisk out of Attentat or if he's going to attempt another two hatch Hydralis bust. The Hydro Spust might make sense. That would be a reason to hold the Zergling short. But we'll have to see. It is possible. We're just going to see a delayed additional hatchery grab. But the Zergling is currently holding firm. Not enough to stop that probe. Oh, Attentat. Now the Zergling's waking up. So, okay. Now we'll see if, yeah, okay. Might have been an attempt at that, but then the probe just walking straight through the lines. Triggering that third hatchery drop. We'll see. Gateway morphing in. We have that Nexus about halfway finished. We do have that gas grab as well. Probe is going to be in position to see that layer tech instigate. And I feel like Fisheye, he has shown us indicators that given the scouting information he's already got, he's going to be well prepared. Probe getting wiped out, but it doesn't matter. Got all the information it's looking for. Third base being built. I can't imagine Fisheye dropping this with all of that info. We'll see, though. Probe's making the way towards the natural expansion. Start mining there. Fisheye has that cybernetic score finishing. Getting out initial zealots to maybe create some havoc. And layer just about finishing. Few additional Zerglings being constructed. I'm curious if it's going to be a Mutalisk Zergling combo towards the front. No second gas as of yet. From Attentat. And he is upgrading Zergling speed. Curious here and curious on Attentat side. I think he's just going to try to go for more of a standard three base, maybe airplay. Stargate. Just about morphed in. What I want to call that number. 
Seven eights. Seven eights finished. Citadel of Adam morphing in as well. So Fisheye going for that Dark Templar style of play, which really suited him well last match. And where I've kind of poo-pooed it, he's really made it work in a lot of his versus Zerg matches. Third base starting to saturate with drones. No Overlord on location there yet, so that could be a vulnerable location. Zealots starting to wander out, find no Zerglings out in the front. They're just waiting in the wings, though. Ten in number. Spire about halfway finished. First Corsair just about complete. Should be able to maneuver forward and get initial scouting information. A second Corsair being built, I think upon seeing the lack of Hydralisks as those Zealots made their way out. Corsair's still going to check the front. I think it just wants to get... Is it going to go for that initial Overlord? Taking an initial look to see whether it's going to shift positions. I think Adtat just going to drop that fourth hatchery to make his way back towards... We'll see if he goes for the airplay again, because he is grabbing that additional gas, which suggests he's just going to try to play Spire rather than hatchery off the initial four bases. But again, I think this is going to be... Did he build the Scourge at the natural? No, it looks like not. So once again, an Overlord going to get taken out on the front. And there's also an exposed Overlord already being assailed on the front door right there. So two Overlords for free. Third one taking damage, although Fisheye might want to make his way out now. Playing this a little bit risky. I'm not sure if he forgot about this or not. It's going to end up losing a Corsair as a result. Yeah, I think he just got a little bit negligent right there. But scouting things out. Two initial Overlord kills. Good bonus. Still no Overlord to the corner. And three... So it looks like it is probably going to be six hatch mutilisk is what I'm looking at here. But with no overlord protecting this third, if a Dark Templar gets anywhere up there, and also the Dark Templar could clear these Zerglings off the front, honestly, I, I think the best play might to just be ignore the Zerglings and go to that third. Although I don't know that Fisheye... Oh no, Fisheye does know it. Just skipping right by those Zerglings, and I don't know if they were spotted either. Armor being constructed, which suggests those mutilisks are going to be a big factor in Attentat's early game. Creep Colony being constructed to morph to that something calling to provide some of that latent defense but again okay now an overlord coming online the creep colony not morphing yet so this dark templar might have a window and actually the creep colony not on either location and there's no okay overlords moving away from the main and they haven't seen the dark templar making their way in as me and they haven't changed direction so that spire might get taken out drone's certainly going to die one drone two drones oh and does adentide even see it <laughs> this Dark Templar having a field day. What a hero. Another Dark Templar making its way towards third as well. But this is looking like it's going to be a quick, easy, early win for Fisheye. As a Dark Templar being an absolute ninja spy here and able to make its way in. That one's going to... How does this... Oh, it killed all the Zerglings on the front as well. So 10 kills on that. Wow, that was about as perfect as a game as you're going to get for a Protoss player versus Zerg. So Fisheye looking in championship form sailing over Attentat and is going to make it to the round of four where he will end up playing one of our additional competitors. Congratulations to Fisheye. If you guys enjoyed it, please give a like, a subscribe. As always, I appreciate all of your viewership. Thank you for listening.